can this $16 gun atomize this clear onto this panel and give it a beautiful slick finish? Let's find out right now. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Today we're going to test the myth. Is it the painter or is it the gun? We got a special one right here. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we have the $16 special here. I went with the cheapest one. We're going to see if this here can give me a good finish. So let's go ahead. Let's unbox it. Hold on. Wait. It's made in China. Okay, now we're ready to unbox. So let's go ahead and see what it has. Okay, so we have our cup. Uh, I don't like the cup. I don't use the cups because I have the PPS adapter right here that is meant for it. It just keeps things a lot cleaner. So keep that right here. We have the gun and then we have the instructions. These aren't gonna help me. So we'll put that aside. And then it came with some sort of brush. All right, so let's take a look at our gun right here. Wow. Not even the paint job was good on here. But anyways, for the purpose of the video, let's see what kind of tip it comes with. All right. It looks like it has a uh, 1.4 in there. That's decent. Trigger. Hmm. Not too smooth. Uh, but it's got the basic setup. You got your fan right here. We'll go ahead and make that all the way open. We'll set our gun to all the way open. And it's right there. And then we'll go ahead and let's get a uh, regulator on here. All right, this regulator is probably worth more than the gun, being that it's about 65 bucks. <laughs> All right. So I went ahead and I purchased that PPS adapter. This will make your life much easier. And for those of you that are wondering, this is a S2C adapter. I'll tighten that up. And we are ready to spray. Now, I'm doing this video for you guys. I, I wanna see, can I get a decent finish out of this? I don't know. What I do know is that these guns are not made with the same quality as a higher end gun. It's a $700 gun. This is going to last you many, many years. It's gonna be going through many paint jobs. This is a $15 gun. Now you'll probably buy about five of these because what will happen is the material inside these paints is gonna eat up all the cheap uh, metals and different um, parts in this gun. Whereas this gun will be able to handle it much more efficiently. Now, why do we pay five, six, seven hundred dollars for a gun? Well, we pay for the engineers that developed the gun because these tips and these air caps are designed in such a way to give you optimal atomization, okay? Meaning that they are very user friendly. Whereas this gun, not so much. You can feel it just in the trigger pull. Very soft, very gentle. Here, much harder and it doesn't go as far, the trigger, okay? So that's number one. But for the average do-it-yourselfer, can they go to Harbor Freight? Can they pick up this gun? Can they get a semi-decent finish out of it? Well, we're gonna put that to the test right now. So let's go ahead, let's jump into the booth. We're gonna spray sealer, metallic paint, and clear coat. All right, we're equipped with our sealer and our Harbor Freight Special. Let's uh, do some test patterns. Wow, this does not work like a traditional paint gun when the fluid is all the way open. Nothing's coming out. Somewhat decent. Let's see what it does on a panel.
Sealer coat is all down, and I gotta say, it took some adjusting to get it a little bit easier to spray, but it did put it down decently. It's really smooth. Well, sealer is one thing, and well, that's almost like primer, so does it really have any bragging rights? Let's see, we got a high metallic base, and if not sprayed properly, it can look mottled or patchy. So we're gonna see what it can do with this base. Let's get this base put on here and uh, let's see what it can do. All right, so we got it sealed and we got it based. And if you had told me that this bumper right here was painted with a $16 paint gun, I wouldn't believe you. So let's take a closer look. As of now, just looking at it, there is absolutely no difference between any high-end gun that I have that would give me this finish right here. The only really difference is the ease of use. And we'll discuss that a little bit later in the video. So here we have it. Our clear coat, the last step, usually the step when things don't really go too well. Can this $16 gun atomize this clear onto this panel and give it a beautiful slick finish? Let's find out right now. Okay, so we just finished spraying with our $15 Harbor Freight gun and the finish is really good. Stay tuned in just a moment, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the booth and on the car. And when you see the finish, you're gonna be pretty amazed. And you're gonna wonder why I'm only giving it a 3.5 rating. Well, here's why. I had to work really, really, really hard for that finish in there. And what I'm doing is I'm giving a 3.5 rating in regards to a beginner. Yeah, a professional like me can pick it up and work pretty hard and get a good finish. But why do I have to turn up the pressure over 35 pounds? Why do I have such minimal travel? Why does it feel like I'm going over the spot three or four times to get the finish? These are the types of things that can kind of discourage a newbie to painting. And it doesn't need to be like that. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel while I give you different options still Staying within that budget. For the Harbor Freight Gun, well, the $15 version, what's its place? Well, it's a great first beginner gun for a few tries. Give it a try. You're not going to spray show cars with this. It can't gloss out a hood perfectly. I know that. So don't be cheap. Leave it alone. Maybe only use it for primer. That's what it's good for. And when you see that finish here in just a moment, remember, 3.5 rating. 
This is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next one.